Sure how formed an imprint, six Tao reincarnations heavenly art reappearing, blasting outwards. Wing. This abyss moved back and forth, space around him rumbling. It was as if several true dragons released a great roar. The heavenly art displayed its might, boundless power smashing down, as if the stars of the heavens came crashing down. Streak after streak of light surged, carrying time fragments and smashing outwards. This was the power of the domain created by the heavenly art. Of course, this was just the most basic level. There were still six precious techniques overlaying, right now completely merged, impossible to distinguish which types there were as they flooded out. A tremendous rumbling sounded, shaking one up until they felt as if their souls were shattering. Princess Yayu and Xian Kuan widened their eyes with shock. That person was too unusual, the methods he displayed truly astonishing. Six types of light interweaved, becoming the most fundamental bone texts, crashing out wave after wave, one stronger than the next, exceeding the most powerful precious techniques. Six types of bone texts overlaid on top of each other, forming unmatched symbols, the destructive force astonishing. One could clearly see Feng Xingtian cough out blood again. Even though he displayed the darkness heavenly art again, he was still injured, body greatly shaken, black mist surging, blood flowing out from his mouth and nose. Then, his entire body flew out even faster, smashing towards the abyss like a meteor, rushing towards that palace. What a formidable youth! Princess Yayu's beautiful eyes blinked, astonishing colors flying out as she stared at Sher Hao, watching him display the ancient heavenly technique. Her origins were unordinary, coming from a top-level long-life family in the Nine Heavens' Ten Earths, so her knowledge was naturally extensive, immediately ascertaining that this was the Six Tao Reincarnation's technique. Her beautiful eyes immediately began to burn. She had heard about this type of method for a long time already. You won't be able to escape. Sure how shouted. Like a ping, his body unfolded, arms moving, heavenly wind rushing about, stellar energy surging all around him as he rushed over. Where did this kind of crazy youngster come from? Even someone like you dares to boast shamelessly before me? If not for all three of you working together, I would kill you all one after the another. Feng Xingtian berated. Even though he was injured, he still didn't become dejected, believing that he didn't lose to one person but the ancient heavenly arts three people displayed at the same time. Feng Xingtian was a confident person, as well as a powerful individual. He really did have the backing to overlook the crowd, a giant among men. After spitting out a mouthful of blood, he released a great roar. This abyss began to surge, black haze surrounding it. Whoever dares come, then whoever it is I will kill, send you on your way. He shouted. Darkness surrounded the world below, the palace no longer visible covered by Feng Xingtian's dark power. The remains were now pitch black. Feng Xingtian had this type of arrogance. Whoever dared to compete against him for immortal karma, he would kill them without exception. When one dared to speak like this, they had to have powerful strength. He was extremely self-confident, and at the same time, this dark abyss perfectly matched the source of his strength. Already coughing out blood, even the defeated dares to utter such delirious words. Even if I come, what can you do about it? Sure, how didn't stop, immediately rushing over murderously. Ping. A large hand slapped over in the darkness, carrying a wave of cold energy and thick black haze, absorbing the darkness power here. Feng Xingtian took action, hoping to kill Sure Hao. Sure, how didn't even think before acting, using the most domineering, young bone texts. Lightning interweaved, forming a great river, blasting this place apart. The instant the darkness was hacked through, Sure Hao saw that large hand. He pressed forward without any hesitation, sending his fists smashing over, colliding with that large black hand. An enormous sound rang through the air. It was like muffled lightning, blasting apart the surrounding layer of this abyss. An even more vast underground space was immediately blasted apart. Only the underground palace remained intact, not receiving damage. The two individuals' attacks shook heaven and earth. This was a mortal battlefield, yet the earth was destroyed to this degree, as if a demon ancestor struggled free from his restrictions, destroying the netherworld and then breaking apart the earth's surface. Feng Xingtian withdrew. The first attack resulted in failure, making his expression change. His palm felt a bit numb, unexpectedly forcefully stopped by that individual. He had quite the confidence in his own flesh. He had soaked in all types of spiritual liquid since his youth refining an unbreaking body, 
previously even using all types of wondrous medicines and secret recipes to refine his body. When he reached adulthood, the power of his flesh was already great to an inconceivable level. When facing attacks from those of the same cultivation realm, he didn't suffer any damage, difficult to be harmed in the slightest. If he only attacked with his physical body without using any precious techniques, just martial arts alone would be enough to kill those powerful exceptional talents. He was the Wind Clan's disciple, someone who made the heavens proud, his cultivation among his peers glorious and world-shattering, rarely encountering his match, his physical prowess even more so undefeated. However, after trading blows just now, he couldn't do anything to the other party, both of them sharing the limelight. Feng Xingtian really found it a bit hard to believe that this person could match him in physical strength. He originally thought that only Lu Tuo and a few others could do this. Where did this fella crawl out from? This was his greatest question. A completely unknown person. How could he be this strong? It really was a bit ridiculous. Feng Xingtian silently moved again, taking action in the darkness, using Dark Demon Fist, an ancient and frightening great method from the darkness heavenly art. This attack was without wind and waves, smashing over without the slightest bit of sound. One fist aimed at the middle of Shur Hao's back, one at the back of his head. This type of attack, if it landed, would directly blow one apart, body and spirit obliterated, nothing left behind. However, in the dark, Shur Hao suddenly turned around, similarly forming fist imprints, facing the other party with both his fists. Dang. Sparks flew in all directions, metallic sounds ringing through this place. This didn't seem like fists smashing together at all, but rather like a collision of divine gold. Metal sounds ear-splitting. It made one's soul couldn't help but shake as well. Dark Demon Fist clashed with Sure Hao's ancient heavenly art, but it didn't achieve much result, unable to injure his body. It wasn't that Dark Demon Fist wasn't strong, but rather it proved that it was ridiculously powerful, actually able to stop Sure Hao's unmatched heavenly art. This demon fist was extremely special. It silently merged with the void, blasting through the heavens, only releasing sound after it made contact with Sure Hao's fist. The darkness was extremely thick, not a bit of light to be seen. The surrounding space had long been blown into tatters. The abyss was was blown apart. Apart from the palace, everything else was completely leveled. Dark Demon Fist obliterated everything, completely silent as it annihilated all. The strong? Feng Xingtian felt great pain from his fists. A great power spread, causing his arm to jerk about slightly, trembling a bit. For Feng Xingtian, in a clash of physical strength, if he couldn't dominate the other party, then that was already a type of defeat for him. Especially this year after he bathed in phoenix blood, baptizing his flesh, undergoing an astonishing transformation, his body becoming even stronger. Yet who was this youth who suddenly came out of nowhere? Why could this person fight against him, being equally matched in physical strength? He was confident that Heavenly Deity Institution's true phoenix pool wasn't open to this stranger, so what was there that was comparable to phoenix blood and refining one's body? Even though the phoenix blood wasn't pure, after it merged with the divine spring, it was still something extremely rarely seen under the sky. Hong. Sure how to action. He surged with battle intent as he charged murderously at Feng Xingtian in the darkness. Brilliant light surged between the two again, an eruption of bone texts, release of divine force, even more so an all-out struggle between their powerful physical bodies. In that instant, natural laws interweaved, divine chains of order moving through the air. A brilliant streak of light illuminated the darkness, crisscrossing into a web here. This was produced from Tao laws, condensed from natural order. An enormous sound rang out, as if an immortal drum was being struck. The world exploded, this place becoming completely chaotic, everything blurry. It was clear that the two carried out another great collision. It was extremely fierce, exceeding their imagination. Bright red blood scattered about in the air. Chi. Right at this moment, Princess Yao Yu also appeared, charging murderously. A divine rainbow shot out with a raise of her hand, attacking Feng Xingtian. Then, Xian Kuan also appeared, standing near the underground palace, powerfully taking action against Feng Xingtian. Even though he was injured, his current power was still astonishing. Poo. Feng Xingtian released a wa sound, coughing out large amounts of blood. He felt quite sullen. He originally came to kill Lu Tua, Yao Yu, and the others, yet now, he was injured himself. 
He turned around, rushing towards the underground palace. Now, there were many people on the surface, because this situation created too much of a disturbance, the blast wave shocking people from all directions. The ones who rushed here first all revealed an expression of shock, because they saw some of the battlefield situation just now. Who is that person, daring to fight against Feng Xingtian? Why have we never seen him before? I seem to have seen that person made Feng Xingtian cough out blood. The abyss was enormous. After experiencing a battle, the earth around it collapsed even further, becoming more and more grand. The underground palace was vast, unexpectedly an expanse of underground buildings. It was unknown just how many years had passed, but they still stood tall. Feng Xingtian was the first to rush inside, entering the underground palace. To their surprise, there weren't any terrifying symbols, entering quite smoothly, no unexpected dangers happening. A green ancient tree grew here, as if carved from green jade. Regardless of whether it was leaves, trunk, or roots, everything was like this, green and lush, full of vitality. Ever since coming to this ancient battlefield, everything he saw was reddish-brown, the earth dry and ice-cold, lacking vitality. He never expected to see this type of plant in the underground world. He? Sure how it just entered the underground palace when he felt that something was wrong. It was because the plants were flourishing, a bit strange. This was a world of its own. This was a small world, far from being as simple as the overcast underground palace from before. The scene inside completely changed. There were many trees, strong and vigorous. The underground palace's ancient structures they saw before were hidden within these lush and luxuriant plants, some of them inside of forests. Ping. Black energy overflowed. Feng Xingtian took action. Another dark demon fist smashed outwards, attacking it sure how to stop him. However, it was clearly too hard for him to kill his opponent. If people of this level began fighting, there was no way a conclusion could be reached in a short amount of time. I'm unwilling to accept this. Do you dare fight me alone? Feng Xingtian said. Even if I fought you alone, you still aren't my opponent. Sure how sad. What a joke. If I fought you alone, killing you won't even take much effort. Feng Xingtian remained extremely arrogant. The corners of Sure Hao's lips curled slightly. He released a cold laugh and said, Then perfect, there's only the two of us here, so feel free to give it a try. A pleasant sounding laughter sounded. Princess Yao Yu nodded and said, You two can fight all you want. The two of us definitely won't interfere. While speaking, she rushed into the underground palace depths, entering the lush ancient trees to carefully search about. She and Kuan also left entering the palace in search of immortal karma. Feng Xingtian raised his hand, forming a mysterious magical imprint. It was no longer surging dark energy, but instead a type of crazy wind. His clan wasn't called the Wind Clan for no reason. Earth, fire, wind, water, the four primary elements, the wind attribute making up the basis of their clan. Not only was the precious technique world shocking, there was also a corresponding ancient heavenly art. In that instant, Wind roared about the underground palace. It was as if heavenly thunder exploded, the scene astonishing. When watching from the distance, large amounts of stars appeared, blown down by the great wind, smashing down towards Shihao. This was an irregular scene. Feng Xingtian naturally couldn't blow down the stars in the sky, but that type of irregular scene wasn't completely unfounded. Their old ancestor did accomplish this in the past, the stars in the sky falling down with the wind from a single thought. This was enough to speak of how frightening this clan's powerful individual was. Chi. Suddenly, a streak of moonlight shone down from the distance, sweeping towards Feng Xingtian. Yao Yu took action. At the same time, Xian Kuan also released a grunt, displaying a great method. Earth and energy pervaded the air. A tremendous wave of power smashed over, attacking Feng Xingtian. The two said they would stay out of it, yet it was all fake. They wanted to immediately eliminate Feng Xingtian. I knew you all wouldn't keep to your promises. Feng Xingtian said coldly. What promise is there to speak of with you? Xian Kuan said coldly. He was attacked from the back when he was recuperating, almost dying, so he naturally carried a great hatred inside. As for Yao Yu, it was only because she felt that Feng Xingtian posed too great of a threat, because he not only grasped the Wind Clan's inheritance, he also obtained some type of darkness ancient heavenly art, an extremely dangerous individual. I'm going to kill you all. Feng Xingtian roared. In the crazy winds, 
black haze covered the sun and earth surrounding this place. His figure went into hiding, disappearing from this place. This place immediately became dark, nothing visible anymore. The other three opened their heavenly eyes, carefully searching about. Those with exceptional talent like them, cultivating three strands of immortal energy, normally speaking, naturally could open heavenly eyes. However, even though they opened their heavenly eyes, it was still a bit difficult for them to see through the darkness, to the extent where even their divine senses were seriously affected. The darkness, heavenly art, and wind clan's foundational force worked together, the effects astonishingly great. The two types of ancient methods complemented each other, becoming more and more frightening and powerful. Dang. In that instant, a black horse spear swept out, almost cutting open a terrifying wound across Shin Kuen's waist. It was smashed aside by his palm, avoiding this disaster. Wing. Within the wind sounds, a vibrating noise rang out. The black shadow within was too fast, rushing murderously at Princess Yaoyu. The two clashed fiercely, fighting a life and death battle. Immediately afterwards, they separated. The chest of Princess Yaoyu, who previously suffered injuries from the battle between four great experts, rose and fell, clearly feeling quite the pressure. She received more serious injuries. Dong. An enormous sound rang out, exploding by Sher Hao's ears. The darkness was everywhere. Feng Xingtian was already taking action against him, attacking him from the darkness. Only, Sher Hao's reaction was too fast, immediately supporting his single heavenly passage, locking down everything. He then attacked in a berserk manner, tangling with that figure, unleashing the most intense blows. There were naturally quite a few people who arrived above the abyss, already seeing the indistinct palace. Right now, a few people couldn't hold back, rushing down. They also wanted to explore this place, wishing to obtain the immortal Tao inheritance. Only, as soon as these geniuses descended and entered this palace's small world, they immediately felt a wave of shock, as well as a great pressure. Who? The geniuses who approached had just opened their mouths, and then silently turned into bloody paste, unable to even release a cry, scattering away along with that terrifying wind. One had to bear in mind that they were all official disciples. Yet when they entered the underground palace's small world, they were all erased by Feng Xingtian's domain. One could imagine how intense the struggle between the great experts was. Outsiders had just entered their battlefield, yet already suffered such tragic ends. Then, several more people came, similarly unable to escape disaster, disintegrating under the precious techniques of several great experts. Fortunately, their life-saving symbols displayed their use, absorbing the essence blood, and then all of the bone symbols rushed into the sky, fleeing this place. This time, the people above the abyss saw this, every single one of them turning pale with fright. Those bone symbols were given to them by the elders, used to protect their lives. They never thought that unexpected things would happen to the ones who went down so quickly. If they didn't have the bone symbol, those people would definitely be dead, completely dying. Heavens, what is going on? Even the official disciples of the academy will die instantly after going down? Too terrifying. Listen, there's wind sounds below. It's most likely Wind Clan's heavenly talent displaying might. Woo, but who is the one he is fighting? To actually be able to injure him, I wonder what the situation is like now. Above the abyss, everyone was discussing among themselves, full of expectation, wishing to know who exactly was stronger and who was weaker. In the underground palace, this small world wasn't that small, lush green and full of life, ancient trees reaching into the heavens. Currently, the battle in the darkness was extremely intense. Sure how and the others clashed from time to time, but they didn't tangle about each other while fighting, instead carrying out a type of hunting, all of them searching for each other. This was even more dangerous, because the slightest carelessness would result in being taken out by another. Yayu, Xin Kuen, Sure how, Feng Xingtian, all of their minds were extremely taut, not daring to show the slightest bit of carelessness. Sure how took action, forming the Six Dao Reincarnation's imprint, this time producing another type of unusual profound mystery. Six black holes appeared before him, as if they were the entrances to six worlds. Wind sounds roared about, able to blast gods and devils to pieces, hack down the sun and moon. However, this time, it was a bit ineffective. The great method Feng Xingtian activated didn't display any effects. It was because the endless great wind was completely absorbed by the six black holes. Pooh. 
At this time, Sher Hao rushed forward as well, sending his fist smashing down, making the earthquake. This fist was too ferocious, smashing Feng Xingtian's arm until it was in great pain, body staggering, blood flowing out from his mouth. Six Tao reincarnations, producing six black holes, as if they were the gates into six worlds. They rotated about, tangling together, mysterious and unfathomable. They fought while rushing into the underground palace depths, witnessing many scenes along the way. Blood splashed outwards. They continuously fought against each other, not a single person uttering a sound, fighting in the darkness like that, continuously receiving injuries as they approached their destination. A streak of divine light flickered about. That was unexpectedly a divine medicine. It quickly rushed into the earth, escaping. Then, they saw a pool surging with spiritual essence. Could it be that the headless creature was buried right here? Kill Feng Xingtian first. Princess Yayu suggested. Fine. Sure how nodded, speaking as if this was something that was inevitable. Xin Kuan also joined, surrounding Feng Xingtian, wishing to finally kill him this time. E, why is there a mortal energy rising from this pond? Suddenly, they were all shocked. The pool beside them was extremely shabby, yet there were bits of immortal energy in the spiritual essence. It left them pleasantly surprised, full of expectations. It was a shabby-looking pool, walls formed from a gray diamond stone, diameter less than five feet, extremely small, yet there was a type of time-modeled aura. This wasn't just a pool, but even more so like a witness of history, a tangible embodiment of time. The diamond rock had long become damaged, eroding over time. However, under the influence of the spiritual essence, the nourishment of wisps of immortal energy, it still didn't collapse. The four great experts were fighting, continuously attacking and ambushing each other. From time to time, muffled grunts sounded. Even though they said they were attacking Feng Xingtian, no one could trust anyone else here, so they were all on guard. At this time, they all made the same decision, rushing towards the pool. Not a single one of them dared lag behind out of fear of missing out on a tremendous opportunity. It was because regardless of what it was, as long as there were wisps of immortal energy ascending, it would definitely be priceless, impossible to measure. They felt that there was a supreme treasure in the pool, very likely a damaged immortal artifact left behind from the battlefield back then. Once it appeared, it would definitely shock the Nine Heavens. This type of thing was like the Nine Phoenix Furnace, an unmatched magical artifact left behind by a long life being. There weren't many that could be found in this world. One had to bear in mind that back then, not even every single long life being had one because the materials were just too hard to find. As long as the artifact at the bottom of the pool wasn't too damaged, it would become an exceptional killing weapon. If it was a bit more complete than the Nine Phoenix Furnace, then it would undoubtedly become a measurable Heaven's number one magical artifact. Chi. Shin Kuan took action, clenching his teeth as he traded attacks with Sher Hao. It was because Sher Hao was moving next to him at first, but then quickly passed him, approaching the damaged ancient pool. Even though they were allied just now, now that it concerned an ancient supreme treasure, the so-called alliance became incredibly weak. Xian Kuan was originally extremely powerful and tyrannical. If not for the fact that he was seriously injured, his foundation damaged, no one would look down on him. Not even Feng Xingtian would dare attack him. Dao injuries, this was the most terrifying type of injuries. If it was a different cultivator, they would undoubtedly be dead something even a sect master would find it hard to survive from. However, he had three strands of immortal energy, thus able to preserve his life. Only, this affected his fighting strength. After releasing this attack, his expression became pale. Hong, sure how directly released another fist. Six Tao reincarnations power shot out, turning into six black waves, rushing out from the six black holes, blasting Xian Kuan until he cried out, large mouthfuls of blood coughed out. On the other side, moonlight filled the palace. It was incredibly gentle in this palace. Princess Yayu was extremely special, surrounded by pure moonlight, just like her name, One. Right now, she was clashing intensely against Feng Xingtian as well. Lightning erupted between the two, dark heavenly wind and moonlight surging violently, tangling about each other. Bone texts burned brilliantly. Now that there was an ancient immortal pond before them, no one could remain calm all of them risking life and limb, wishing to obtain it for themselves. Pong. Another loud sound rang out. The four of them were too close, and as a result, 
Even though they were fighting two different battles, the symbols between them still made contact, creating an intense explosion. This was power that just destroyed ordinary matter, but split the heavenly dome. Above the abyss, everyone was stupefied, difficult for them to imagine just what kind of battle was being carried out below. It was because there were four symbol lights rushing into the heavens, illuminating the dark night sky, splitting open the sky. One could imagine that once something was hit by this type of power, there would definitely be nothing left, body and Tao erased. Were these people who cultivated three strands of immortal energy? Too terrifying, high above everyone else. They weren't even in the same world as the rest of them, difficult to fight. Previously, the gap between us and those with three strands of immortal energy wasn't that overwhelming, but once they begin producing great Tao flowers, it is as if a heavenly mode exists between us, one that is just too difficult to cross. Someone sighed, describing a fact. In the palace, the buildings that carried ancient imprints weren't damaged, still intact after suffering this type of tremendous power. Being able to exist from the past until now, there had to be a reason for it. There were great doubt patterns within the buildings, preventing them from being destroyed. After Shi Hao, Yao Yu, Xin Kuan, and Feng Xingtian clashed, they rushed towards the ancient pool, all of them reaching their hands into the mist filled water. However, they immediately shivered inwardly, as if there was a terrifying weapon pressed against their throats, their body covered in a layer of goosebumps. It had to be said that all of them decisively withdrew, the expressions on their faces incomparably pale. Even Princess Yayu was no exception. Even though she was naturally beautiful, skin like fine jade, right now, goosebumps covered her body, ruining a bit of her beauty. That type of feeling was too powerful, simply as if they made a trip through the underworld, their souls almost frozen and left behind. What kind of thing is that? This was the same question all four of them thought. It wasn't like an immortal artifact, but more as if there was a creature slumbering within. When they thought of this possibility, they broke out into a cold shiver, minds immediately feeling cold, developing an ominous feeling. After a momentary silence, while on guard towards each other, they carefully walked forward again, opening their heavenly eyes to see what was going on. Even though they felt uneasy, after closely inspecting this pool, they discovered that this might very well be a tremendous opportunity that could not be passed up. They confronted each other, but didn't rashly take action. After arriving here, the four of them only stared at that ancient pond, examining what exactly there was inside. It was extremely indistinct, the true seemed difficult to see even with heavenly eyes. They could vaguely see divine spring liquid inside, but there already wasn't much. All types of spiritual light and multicolored mist surged, as if water was boiling in a world of ice and snow. The reason why they couldn't see clearly was because that thing was surrounded by chaotic mist wisps, hazy and indistinct. It seems to be a butterfly? Princess Yayu was shocked, because that type of form, the vague shadow, looked extremely similar to a three-foot-long ancient butterfly. Sure how frowned, because at this time, he felt as if a cauldron he was carrying was becoming a bit strange. Emperor Butterfly. It was reviving. Recently, the Emperor Butterfly had always remained asleep inside of a bone cauldron he carried, not displaying any activity. He never expected that it would wake up here. Sure how was shocked. He was sure that it was a divine butterfly in the pool, lying dormant there. Moreover, there was a huge possibility that it was related to the Emperor Butterfly within him. It might even be of the same clan. Emperor Butterflies were too rare, rarely did more than one appear at a time since the ancient times. Some suspected that there was only a single one since the archaic times, that it was herself that underwent continuous rebirth. Wing. Inside Sure How's body, that cauldron surged with a multicolored haze. The Emperor Butterfly fully awoke. It sensed the aura outside, as if it realized something. At this time, the mist scattered a bit, the bottom of the primal chaos becoming lighter in color. It was an ancient butterfly after all. Yayu was shocked. The other three all stared blankly, temporarily not taking action. This butterfly was three foot long. If one only got a hurried glance, the wings even carried an indescribable type of beauty, as if it was this world's most beautiful work of art. Unfortunately, it suffered from the jealousy of heaven. When one looked carefully through the mist, they would find that it should have already died, the originally brilliant colored wings mostly dim, to the extent where even its body had rotted away. Only a small portion of golden patterns and colored patterns were left on it, 
not fading away. One could imagine that if it was still undamaged, it would definitely be beautiful and stunning. Despite this, there were still waves of immortal light that rose from within the decaying aura. Those wisps of immortal energy came precisely from the rotting body. They were all shocked. The so-called immortal artifact, hidden in the ancient pond, was actually a butterfly that had already died for many years, soaked in spiritual liquid. This was originally a long-life being, an unmatched expert. They were shocked. It was because there was still immortal energy released after its death, modeled immortal light rising from its body, likely already became an immortal a long time ago. However, even this type of powerful creature died in the past, clearly fallen in battle, suffering an unimaginable injury, leaving its body in tatters. This all happened in a mortal ancient great era. A terrifying secret force was corroding its body, left behind by the enemy. After an endless amount of time had passed, it still remained, truly not simple. A long life being. Regardless of whether it was Xin Kuen, Feng Xingtian, or Yao Yu, their eyes were burning, looking like they were ready to take action to seize it at any moment. It was because this was an ancient undying immortal, a paramount being that couldn't be produced in this world. Even though it began to decay, its body damaged, it was still priceless. There might be some artifacts inside the butterfly's body. There weren't many creatures of this caliber even in a mortal ancient great era, the most terrifying lords of heaven and earth, dominators of this world. Anything they left behind was unimaginably valuable. If they found Dao books, weapons, or other things, then that would be even more astonishing. These things would shake up the nine heavens' ten earths. Specks of multicolored light shone within Shurhao's body. The Emperor Butterfly moved quite slowly, wishing to crawl out from the bone cauldron. The Emperor Butterfly revived here, startling Shurhao, and then he became pleasantly surprised. There was a butterfly in the ancient pond as well, vaguely waiting for something. If there is an immortal treasure, how will we divide it? Shen Kuen's voice was coarse. He was heavily injured, not wishing to fight any longer. Princess Yayu looked at Shur Hao, and while smiling sweetly, said, What does Dao Friend think? Feng Xingtian was moved. He feared that the three would join hands to defeat him first, because not long ago, the three had tried to eliminate him. Dividing between the three of us isn't a problem. Shur Hao nodded. Good. Princess Yayu laughed. Large eyes bright and beautiful like the radiance of spring, smile enough to topple a city. Holy radiance shone down on her snow-white skin, her head of beautiful hair sparkling. Hong. Feng Xingtian took action, not hesitating at all, immediately attacking. It was because those three excluded him, definitely going to try to eliminate him. He had to strike first and gain the upper hand, rushing to attack. Darkness power surged, strong winds stirred about as if it was going to blow down the stars and the cosmos, incomparably terrifying. Unfortunately, the three of them also immediately took action, all of them using ancient heavenly arts, power exceptional, blasting through his heavenly wind, sending him flying. Even with his great divine abilities, he still couldn't face the three great experts. They were all people who cultivated three strands of immortal energy, all fully aware of how frightening the others were. Heavenly arts clashed, Precious techniques overlaying on top of each other. Sure how six Tao reincarnations was the most astonishing, six black holes moving about, time flowing chaotically, the years changing, reincarnation going full circle, astonishing to the extreme. Ping. This time, they wanted to eliminate the other party as quickly as possible. Sure how's group of three used their most powerful methods, wishing to kill him here. Thus, another round of attacks arrived. True dragon sounds and phoenix cries immediately tore through the sky. Dark heavenly wind roared about. Feng Xingtian struggled, doing everything he could to quickly retreat, avoid the attacks. Only, no matter how fast he ran, he was still struck. He cried out, blood spraying out of his mouth. Ha ha. Suddenly, a cold laughter sounded, making them shiver inwardly. Sure how. Yao Yu and Xin Kuen's bodies went rigid, as if they fell into an ice house their bodies freezing. A powerful creature appeared, locking onto them from not far away. Right now, every fine hair on their bodies stood on end, feeling a chill run through their bodies from head to toe. It was as if they were locked onto by a prehistoric beast, unable to move at all. What kind of creature was this? Where did it come from? They didn't know. It was clear that this creature was just much too stronger than them. It arrived silently, 
Only when it was close did they detect it. Is it that ancient butterfly? Ya Yu's voice was shaking, extremely unnatural. Apart from that rotting butterfly, was there anything else? Didn't the ancient butterfly die in the last great era? Shen Kun backed up, staring forward. The mist scattered. A humanoid figure walked out, arriving in the underground palace. For some reason, Ya Yu and Shen Kun both released a breath of air. Regardless, something from the outside world was much easier to deal with than that rotting butterfly corpse. However, Shi Hao didn't feel like that. That person stared at him as soon as it entered, an extremely cold intent released from its body. A bit interesting, six Tao reincarnations ancient heavenly art appeared in this world again, truly eventful times. It said quietly. After entering, the mist scattered. It revealed its true appearance. This was a middle-aged man with a medium stature, extremely sturdy, but not all that tall. He looked like he was cast from brass, golden radiance flowing through his skin. His eyes were extremely sharp, as if there were two small suns shining. He couldn't be called handsome, can only be considered ordinary. However, there was a type of imposingness being exerted, as if he was the only sovereign of this world. His pupils carried coldness, as well as a type of contempt as he swept them through the people here. It was clear that he didn't take any of these people seriously, not caring much at all about Shi Hao, Yao Yu, these types of younger generation. This was an embodiment of strength. With his long and profound cultivation, he could naturally easily kill these people. Sixth Uncle. Feng Xingtian was pleasantly surprised, calling out. He never expected to see his clan's uncle here, a powerful individual who rose up during the heavenly deity realm, an extremely stunning figure from the Wind Clan. Feng Zhao wasn't all that stunning in his early years, never cultivating immortal energy, but he finally leapt out in the heavenly deity realm. After undergoing a great rebirth, exchanging his flesh and bones, he exceeded his peers. This was someone who had prepared for a long time, only obtaining some accomplishments after cultivating for 500 years. Then, he shot up unstoppably, rising triumphantly. Now, he was deep and immeasurable. One foot already stepped into an extremely mysterious domain, an unimaginably powerful existence. His status in Wind Clan was extremely important. Now, he was known as Wind Lord. One had to understand that Wind Clan was a long life family. They had previously produced people who were undying, their backing deep, terrifying beyond compare. To have the title Wind Lord in this type of family, his status in the family was clear and easy to see. This was an extremely formidable individual one who was hard to deal with. In the past, when Wind Clan's old ancestor learned that a youth with the surname Shur from the 3000 Dao provinces was coming to a measurable heaven, after only a few sentences, Wind Lord left to make arrangements. It was precisely him who found Yuan Qing, having him take action. Sixth Uncle, why did you come here? Feng Xingtian was shocked, not knowing how this individual from his clan who was given this Lord title came here. Wu, decided to walk around after a long period of meditation. Turned into a small cultivator to ride on your academy's warship, coming here to take a look, Feng Zhao said. When they heard this, Yao Yu and Xian Kuan's expressions turned pale, having a feeling that things were about to become extremely bad. Wind Lord was just too strong, unexpectedly avoiding those elders, not being discovered. If he didn't come, Feng Xingtian would most likely be in danger, likely be killed here. However, now that Wind Lord suddenly appeared, it immediately changed the situation. This was just too sudden, no one expecting this type of result. Xin Kuen, you're not bad, quite courageous, talent exceptional. If you were given another few hundred years of time, you would definitely turn into a dragon and soar into the sky. Wind Lord commented. Then, he looked towards Princess Yaoyu, as carrying admiration. Yaoyu, it has been a few years since we last met you are becoming more and more beautiful. With immortal energy, you really are a beauty in this world. For some reason, being complimented like this made Princess that you feel extremely uncomfortable. She saw a bit of strangeness in the depths of the other party's gaze that made her uneasy. She revealed a forced smile and said, Fong's sixth uncle and I have previously met. They were both from long life families, but there was definitely a competitive relationship. Senior Fong, what are your intentions? Xian Kuan asked, You all are all exceptional geniuses who cultivated three strands of immortal energy. The fall of any one of you would be a great loss. After all, this world is about to become chaotic, 
so there are still hopes placed on you all to calm the chaos. Feng Zhao said. Xian Kuan didn't say anything. He couldn't help but feel a bit stifled. Yao Yu took two steps back, feeling extremely uneasy this entire time. It was because the other party's eyes carried a type of unruliness, as well as a type of passion when looking at her body. Even though she was a heavenly talent, she still hadn't risen up yet, unable to look down on the nine heavens ten earths. She currently felt extremely worried. Only, it isn't too good for too many people to know about my existence here. Interfering isn't too good, Feng Zhao said. Feng Xingtian knew that this sixth uncle came to protect him, but also to see what heavenly deity institution's true intentions were. That was why he turned into an ordinary person and mixed within. What do you want? Regardless of whether it was Xin Kuan or Princess Yayu, their expressions changed, having a bad feeling inside. Hate to have to kill you all, should just follow me, Feng Zhao said. Their expressions immediately changed. The most terrible thing happened after all. The other party desired their bodies with three strands of immortal energy, as well as to research their heavenly arts, secret methods, and other things. Don't worry, you all won't disappear from this world. I do not wish to become a sinner in the nine heavens ten earths, he said while laughing. Sure how sighed. He saw clearly from the side that this person was extremely sinister, coming with great malice. There was definitely no way for them to interact kindly at this point. When he thought of this, he prepared to use the 10,000 spirit diagram, lightning emperor armor, and others to protect himself. Suddenly, Feng Zhao turned around towards Shi Hao, saying, I loathe those who use the six Tao reincarnation's heavenly art. Shi Hao didn't say anything, only coldly staring at him. Then it'll just start from you. Your flesh shell is quite strong, worth stripping off. If it is carefully refined, perhaps an exceptional expert can be molded. Feng Zhao walked a circle around Shi Hao, as if he was looking at a commodity. Killing and seizing, this choice was entirely in his hands. Yao Yu and Xin Kun's expressions changed. Was this their end as well? They came from great clans, so they previously heard a few strange rumors. Just the thought alone made their scalps become numb. It was to the extent where they knew that there were cultivators who cultivated three strands of immortal energy, backgrounds mysterious, origins unclear, related to some ancient evil inheritances. They might be witnesses soon. Feng Zhao knew these methods, possibly seizing their Tao fruit, using their flesh shells to nurture others. Wu, it'll start from you. Are you going to do it voluntarily? Or will you wait for me to take action? Feng Zhao stared at Shi Hao.